So I'm in my crawl space here, and I am at the uh, main water pipe for my house. You can see it's right here. This goes up here, comes up to there. That goes out to a spigot for a hose. This pipe here is an old water shutoff. So I'm pretty sure that this is the main line for, sorry for all the crinkling. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is the main line of water for my house. It's kind of buried in dirt here, but it seems important enough because when I had my crawl space, uh, when they put a new vapor barrier in my crawl space, they cut a hole out for this. So I received a note from the city that they don't know what the incoming pipe to my house is made from. And I don't want to dig around too much in here. You can see it's kind of buried, but it looks like this is pretty old, obviously, and a little bit rusty. This is kind of rusty. So the two things that they said to do were if it was coated in some sort of white to try and scrape it and see if it comes off. Again, I'm testing this to see if the pipe coming into my house is lead. Um, because they're replacing all the pipes on my street and they're not sure what the lines from the street into the house are made of. So I've got a penny here, like they said, and I want to scratch this and see if the pipe is shiny or silver or if anything white flakes off. As you can see here, nothing white is flaking off. And when I look down at the pipe, it's not shiny or silver. So the second thing they said to do was to take a magnet. And if it's magnetic, it's not lead. Now, if it were copper, when I was scraping it there, the scraped area would have looked copper like the penny. There you go. So I have this magnet. It's like a chip clip type thing. It's got some dirt on it because it was laying in the dirt. And I'm going to test it and see if it sticks to it. And if it's magnetic, it means it's galvanized steel, which means I'm probably in the clear for lead. So you can see there, it's magnetic. That's magnetic. That's magnetic. That is magnetic going back into the dirt. So I think this pipe leading into my house is probably galvanized steel and therefore I'm good to go and I probably don't need to have it replaced. So again, the tests are one, find where your water line is coming into your house. I'm pretty sure this is it. Like I said, this is a water shutoff. This is a pipe. Uh, a feed leading to the rest of my house. If I shine the flashlight down there, I don't see any other stuff coming into the house. It's probably hard for you to see, but there's no other stuff, no other pipes coming in. I realize I'm rambling a bit here. Okay, so this is the main line. I'm fairly certain this is the main line. So I found the main line. I scraped it. It looks like the pipe isn't shiny underneath this corrosion. I'm scraping with a copper colored penny and the pipe isn't shiny nor is anything white flaking off as I scrape it. So it's probably not lead, could be copper. Copper is not magnetic, neither is lead. This is a magnet, test it, it's sticking. Test there, it's sticking, feeling resistance. Test there, it's sticking. Once more, underneath the dirt, still sticking. So I'm fairly certain that this is a galvanized pipe and not lead or copper, which means that I should be in the clear and not need to have the line from the city to my house uh, doesn't need to be replaced. Hopefully this helps you. I want to get out of here because I don't like being in this crawl space. Probably check this pipe as well. Um, so it's not magnetic. I'm going to wipe it off a little bit. I cleaned it off a bit more with the rag and the penny and as you can see I think that's copper. I think all of this is copper, it's green. That is some sort of PEX or PVC, that right there. And yeah, the green's kind of scraping off there. I think I'm good. I don't think any of this is lead. Here's the chart the city provided to show how to test your pipes for lead. Just for peace of mind, I also purchased a lead water test kit and tested my water, and thankfully it doesn't contain any lead. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.